The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. Happy, happy Father's Day weekend from The Local Show, Tom and Steve. Uh, just like with uh, Mother's Day, there's a bunch of us who don't have mothers anymore. And uh, Steve, you lost your father a while back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, my dad is still around. And you know what he says? He says, I'll Leave be here till... alone. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'll be here till I'm gone. So uh, and I'm living my life and enjoying my life. Don't be sad when I'm not here. He, uh, he, he went to Georgia like the <laughs> devil, didn't he? <laughs> well, he's, if he's dancing with the devil, he's having a good time with doing it. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But uh, your dad is uh, more heaven bound, and uh, you know you have some probably some good memories. Did you ever do anything special on Father's Day? Or, or um, that you can I recall? Don't know. Was, you know, we would hang out as family. Yeah, yeah. You know, in different things, and and uh, it was just kind of. Did one he of fish those a lot too? Or oh, he he taught me to fish. Uh, it was okay, yeah. I, you know that's where I learned. Great, you know, and uh, you never did a Father's Day fishing excursion. No, no, mm-hmm. not really. I did on my, uh, not Father's Day, but on my 40th birthday. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I golfed in November 9th. <laughs> okay, my birthday. It's very specific. Go ahead. I golfed with my dad out in Marcellus at the Lynx of Sunset Ridge. <laughs> yeah, so I remember that day. Oh, okay. That so he would have been 70. I was 40, so he would have been yeah, at 70. Yeah. And okay. I remember, that was it's funny. It wasn't Father's Day, but I remember that. That the time. It was day. like 70 degrees, November day, weird, right? And uh, cool. and we did it. But he taught me to fish. And, and up at uh, on Lake Ontario, he had, like, things. He's like, go out through the canal. When you see the second cliff lining up with the water tower <laughs> yeah. at Sackis Harbor, in turn, you follow yeah. the drift. And you'll catch bass. You know what? Very nice. Spot it on. worked. Good. Spot on. Well, memories are nice when taken in moderation. So keep those and hold them <laughs> the, go, and go to the future. Uh, let's talk about Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. Give us the the lowdown. You got about twenty seconds. Go 20 ahead. Twenty seconds. You know what? Um, the reason that camp is staying in the family is because John helped us with that in mom. To retain so it, that yes. is that was put in trust. So long term care, mom's ninety or whatever happens isn't gonna take that out of the family. And it's still there and they protected it for the future. And people do that with their houses and everything. But John Murphy, the team out at Safe Harbor Wills and Trust, if you haven't done it, um, have that conversation. Update your stuff. Because it it's old and your will's not gonna work. Three seven zero ninety nine seventy seven. Three seven zero ninety nine seventy seven. Give Safe Harbor Wills and Trust dot com a call. Very good. That was a great commercial you did right I there. I just pulled that the, the out of somewhere. Check, the yeah. check is in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's uh, our pleasure to bring on a new person to the show. His name is Todd Story, and uh, he is an energy advisor at Energy Mark. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you for being here. So let's get your story, Mr. Story. I like that. <laughs> where, I like that. Where have you been, and where'd you come from? Wow, good, good. That's a great question. So you know, let's start in California. Well, I got back no, here about really? ten years ago. <laughs> yep, and I was it was tough leaving that spot. I got to say, the weather was great. Were you originally born here, though? I was. Okay, yep. so you're originally here. Okay. Decided to take a road trip out and didn't come back for ten years. So Golly. I was ten, ten. Came back ten years ago. So yeah, it's been a long time. And uh, just uh, I came back and uh, got back into Syracuse, my hometown here. And uh, you know, what'd you do out in California? <sighs> Good question. Were you an I actor? Did, did you did surf? You, did you act? I did surf a little bit, yes, <laughs> yes. But uh, I went out there, and it pretty much just, it was a perfect spot out. to be, you know, yeah. at the time. And uh, the reason I came back was because the, the buildings kept getting bigger, yeah. and I couldn't see the beach anymore, <laughs> and everything kept getting more expensive. So, yeah, I'm back in Syracuse, but yeah. I was out there um, just kind of exploring, and I worked at a science center out there. Nice. Along with, um, you know, there was this gentleman named Stoney B, who I actually okay. managed, and we went around to bars, and we would get him, um, you know, on stage. He was this guy oh. from <laughs> Louisiana. Yeah. I met outside just playing guitar. He came up to me and said, hey, man, those are some Bob so he's a Dylan musician. Course. Yes. Oh, okay. And yeah. I didn't know how big he was uh-huh. until after the fact because he actually, you know, he played with Muddy Waters and all wow, these other distinguished yeah. musicians. And uh, oh, it cool. was really fun, but it was a good experience. I'm glad to be back, though. Um, yeah. And it's uh, it's been it's been great the last uh, 10 years being back. So Excellent. what's Energy Mark? Energy Mark. So I found these guys um, through my yeah. uncle. Mm-hmm. He used to, um, when they deregulated energy back in 96, 98, electricity was done in 96, 98 was natural gas. Yes. There was 
competition then. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just a um, monopoly ran by the utility. Right. So the supply part is where we're at. That's what we help customers with. Um, so we are energy advisors, energy managers. So it's not just saving money or budgeting money um, on your utility bill. It's other capital improvements. Um, and just educating is the big thing in, in my position is like, this is what your bill says. This is what's going on the, in the world. This is why it's, your so prices are so high. Commercial houses, both just commercial, right? Okay. Now. So commercial, commercial someone has okay. a building, they spend a couple grand a month on heat and electricity sure, or whatever sure. heck it is. Is that someone you want to talk to? Definitely. And, and then how can you help them? Yes, that's that's a great question because I do want to help them. And my, the, the, the struggle is, you know, it's been around for a while. So mm-hmm. there's been, you know, some, you know, most people I talk to have had a bad experience. Oh, okay. Not all yeah, of them, yeah. but there's a few out there. So my job is to get through that gate and be like, hey, we're here to help. There is opportunity to, you know, save money, budget your money um, going forward with your energy bill because it's just going to keep getting higher and higher. Be, sp- be specific. Yeah, what sounds kind of, like, I can save you yeah, money. Yeah. I can do all this stuff so, so yeah, what yeah. kind of bad experience did people have you like know, they just maybe someone's called them up and fixed them on a price and yes. then all of a sudden didn't see them for the next three years and then they didn't realize they were paying such a high price okay, until someone gotcha. like me comes in yes and there's two ways to do it um if your building or your your, your commercial business is with the, um you know the utility yes right there there's guaranteed savings right there. And the right utility the in our area would be national, national grid. National grid, yeah, that's, exactly. That's the yeah. big elephant. No. I didn't know if I could say that, but <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> so I want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but right there, it's it's really just you know educating, and then going, hey, on your bill here, we can take these three taxes away just for signing up with us as your energy you supplier. You take taxes away? We take them oh, away. All right, phone lines are blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, sure. So right off Very the bat, good. there, if you're with the utility, you're going to save money right off the bat. Okay. Um, and then from there, we what we do is look at your, um, you know, your whole structure, your current structure with, a, you know, your energy budget, and then go from there. We so can, it's just the sale of the product. If I've got wind blowing through the roof, that's not your problem. Not my problem. Okay. So it's it's if I'm paying X amount per kilowatt hour, right? You may be able to provide a, a lower price per kilowatt hour. And the more I use, the more I save. Is you that, did your research. That was really good. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. I just made that up. I don't do <laughs> no, research. No, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Most commercial businesses, you know, the more they're using, the more they'll save is kind of what it comes down to, is what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. So you're not um, actually doing the physical structure, so you're not putting up, uh, you know, poles nope. with the electricity or, or bearing cable underground. Right. You're just the service side of it. We are the supplier side the of supplier it. supplier Exactly. Side. So we procure our own energy through NYMEX and um, NISO, which is the ones that they're the um, that's where we go to find our prices per, per kilowatt or, you know, decatherm or. OK, so if someone isn't using a company like yours, um, they're a fool. Change my mind. You, you already said it. They, it it's <laughs> not I want, I want to go that far with it, but they, I just don't think they know. Maybe they're right. ignorant to that part of it because it's your right. The, the reason that, you know, the, um, the federal government did this deregulated energy was for competition. So you didn't have to pay as much as you would as, you know, maybe a national grid being the monopoly of that part. Of so that. the gotcha. garage around gotcha. the corner or the manufacturer up the street or all these people that are right near the Zoe Studios here. These these are people that. Uh, a, sh- a conversation would be potentially save them money and they don't, nothing else changes? That's pretty much it. I mean, we just go in there, look at their bill, save them money. Anything, any commercial building with a meter, we can help. So it's not like a, just and one. Is it just electricity or is it gas as well? Natural gas. And we also work with renewables. Okay. So all of it. Yep. All yeah, of it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Can, can you cause Tom's daughters to not use all the hot water? Never. I can <laughs> ask them. <laughs> I'm not that sure if he wants me to do okay, it. Just check it. <laughs> so give Todd's story a call. Uh, energy advisor at Energy Mark, Energy Mark LLC.com. Correct uh, website? That's right? correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Energy Mark LLC. LLC.com or 412-7172. That's it. All right. Thank you so much, Todd. You have a great rest of the day. You too. Thank you very much. Okay. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Sheila Ostrom. She's the owner of Senior Home Care and Alzheimer's Solutions right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR.